Hi everybody, welcome to Jenna's Picks Live. I hope we're live. <laughs> I forgot to uh, put in my comments over here, so let me see where is the comment window so I can see who is talking and who is hanging out with us. Welcome guys. Of course, I don't know how to get to the comments from here. Um, let's see. Hmm. Where are your comments? Comments window, where are you? <laughs> of course, I don't know where it is. Well, I hope we are live. I think that's it. Nope. Sound effects. There we go. Comments. Hello, Robin. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Jessica or Janice. Sorry. My, it's, it's like this tiny. I didn't say hi, Janice. Welcome, you guys. Hello, hello. Hi, Laura. So as always, you guys, I am a few minutes late, but five minutes is like not that bad for me because I've actually been down here like waiting and making sure everything was okay. And then of course I forgot to put on my jewelry and I ran upstairs. So <laughs> now we are here and let me know, can you hear me? Can you see me? Are we all good? Because you guys know this uh, never never goes off without a hitch. So we are hoping that uh, that everything, as as every show progresses, we get better and better, we hope. Um, but hello everybody, welcome to Jenna's Picks Live. And today is spring shoe, affordable spring shoes edition. Styling on a budget, I got you. We are so lucky to have so many options to choose from when it comes to affordable shoes because with the advent of the internet, you can literally search anything out. But also stores like Walmart and Target are really upping their game with um, like sort of like designer dupes, but also just like higher quality shoes for a lower price. And we're so lucky that that's available to us. And they're really nice and stylish. And um, some of them are, like I said, like dupes of other shoes, but some of them are just really comfortable. So I'm really excited to show them all to you and to kind of um, see what you guys are liking. I, I'm doing a try on for you guys. So some of them, I will let you guys know all about size, fit, all that kind of stuff. But also if I find them comfortable or not, because remember I bought everything that I liked and now we're doing the try on. So that's what it is. Um, but rest assured, all the shoes are super cute, which you guys already saw it anyway, because they're up on my like to know it and they're already, um, posted on my Instagram. So you would have seen the shoes, but now you get to hear my whole spiel about them. Hi everybody, welcome, welcome. Oh, everything looks great and sounds great. Well, thank you so much for the vote of confidence. I appreciate it. I actually had um, one of my favorite local photographers here today because I was like, I need help with the lighting and the technology. And like I told you guys last week, I got a brand new camera and I don't know how to, I, well, I didn't know how to use it yet. So I had um, the, one of my favorite photographers, shout out Max, he was here. He's the one who uh, took or takes all the pictures. Um, we hire him every year for the kids' birthday parties, and they all, the pictures always come out so good. Um, so if you guys are local to Metro West, um, Massachusetts, he is a great find. I told him he's stuck with me until at least Juliet's Sweet 16 because I just love his work, and um, he's such a nice guy. So he came to kind of diagnose some of the technical issues that um, have been arising since... I started, you know, doing the lives on my own with all this new technology. So very glad to have had him in the studio today and helping me out. I was going to snap a picture and show you guys what we were working on, but we were working. It was like so late. My family had already eaten dinner, so <laughs> I didn't get a chance to snap a picture with him. But I think he'll be back helping me up. I'm going to get a few new lights. And um, he just kind of like tweaked some things that were bothering me and I didn't know why. So it's always nice to get an expert opinion on some help. Effie, she said she almost forgot. Well, you better have your notifications turned on to um, my YouTube channel. So if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me and also will help you to not forget about uh, my lives and also to make sure that your notifications are turned on so that you don't forget. Uh, but so happy to have you here, Effie. I don't mean to call you out, but you know, um, if you're not here, it's not a party, especially on a shoe live. I know she's been, Effie's been waiting for this live as if we all need any more shoes, right? But we can always use a few pairs of shoes, especially if everything, mostly everything on this live is under $30 or just about $30. I think I only have two pairs of shoes that are in the 40 range and nothing over 50. So that's insane. And I don't know if you guys caught my Instagram story last night, but I had to 
break up this live into two separate lives because I went overboard and I just have too many shoes to show you guys. So uh, we're breaking it up into two because as you know, if you watched my live last week, I talked for an hour where we all talked for an hour and a half and I sh only showed you guys five items. So I was like, there's no way I can get through 11 pairs of shoes while having the kind of show that I want to. And you guys know, your girl likes to talk. And I'm not on a time schedule anymore, and neither are you, and we don't have to adhere to any kind of plan. So however it works out, it works out. Um, but I decided to break it up into two so we don't get too overwhelmed. Uh, Robin said, uh, I need a dress for every day and night, and my shoes aren't even in yet. Over 50 pounds. So Robin, the flight attendant, is failing at packing a suitcase. Hilarious. Love you, Robin. Shout out. And Robin is going to Aruba. I feel like every week, not only do you guys get to see me, but you also get to hear where Robin is going or where she is and where she's going to next. So she's going to Aruba. I wish I were you because I am so pale right now. But you guys, the sun was out today. It was, dare I say, warm-er. The kids didn't wear jackets. I was wearing sunglasses. Today was a good day. And I think more is on the horizon, which is also why it's such a great day for a shoe live. Because at this point, I'm like, I want to wear some like cute, like transitional clothing, but like, I feel like I'm just wearing sneakers. So enter these super cute loafers. I'm so excited to show you guys. You know how much I love loafers and how long it took me to find my fall loafers. And these just kind of fell into my lap. I wasn't even searching because I, for whatever reason, I was thinking like loafer fall and they came up on my newsfeed or something. And I was like, wait a minute. I forgot that we could wear a loafer in the spring, especially as a transition from winter to spring. So I'm very excited to show you guys. And again, like I said, everything is basically $32 and under two things for 40 uh, or in the 40 range. So very excited about tonight's live. Um, it was gorgeous out today. Of sh of course it was. Effie said she's so pale. Effie, you are Greek. I'm sure you are not pale. I, on the other hand, I'm wearing a lot of makeup and this is all I could come up with. So the sun needs to hit this face at some point. Um, okay, so welcome you guys. So I have actually two funny stories. I need to, my nose is running. I have had this cold and it's, I think one of you guys pointed out that it might be allergies last week and you're probably right because my spring allergies are so bad, but they're not here yet. Usually they come around my birthday. I'm usually like April 25th is my birthday and almost every year I cannot wear makeup. Since COVID it's been better because I think there were like less people out, less um, like germs or less like, I don't know, things flying out in the air. But anyway, we are now four years out from COVID, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get hit hard with allergies this year. So hopefully I'll be able to wear the makeup for my birthday, but uh, it's not looking good if this is already allergy season ramping up. So I'm not really sure what it is, but um, yes, Effie said she wears loafers and mules this time of year. I love mules, love them. But actually today I have something different than mules. So mules are always my go-to shoe. One of my favorite ones is this Steve Madden pair that I got on the um, Nordstrom anniversary sale this past year. And then they've been out of stock ever since. And I'm like, bring them back. But how close of a match is this? And this is a full loafer. So, and again, Steve Madden, so designer name. And then these are from Target and they're under $40. Not these, these. So very excited to talk about those. But yeah, mules are one of my favorite um, shoe, but I haven't been seeing a lot of them that I like. I, I like the ones that I have from last year, but again, I'm not showing them to you because they're not in stock right now. But I've seen more like a ballet flat was really popular in the fall and I'm seeing a lot of it now for the winter or for the transition into spring too. So we're gonna talk about that as well. Um, yeah, so, oh, allergies. All right, Effie said her started. I need new comfy, trendy shoes for a vacation. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about. I have a ton of shoes, some heels, some flats. I know my mom was hoping for some wedges, but I don't have any wedges right now. I haven't seen any that are, like, new. Everything still kind of looks like um, last season to me, so or last year. So I want to bring you guys some new stuff because if we have shoes that we wore last year and they're still in style we're not gonna be really so keen on buying um, like the same style of shoe again. So I'm waiting to see if anything new pops up in the wedge um, section. 
But yes, uh, oh, Evie has this, the Steve Madden ones. Yeah, they're so good. They're um, just really comfortable, and I wish they weren't sold out, but I did get a good price on them on the anniversary sale, but nothing like under $40, like all the shoes that I'm going to be showing you guys tonight. So yay! Um, you know, my favorite go-to shoes are my mules, except for the mules I have with the heel. Yeah, well, you guys know my mom is always the, the heel queen. But she is going somewhere where she can't wear heels, which is Greece. It's a little hard to wear heels with all the steps in Santorini and like the rockiness of the sidewalks and stuff. So I have some flats to show you guys as well. So very excited about that. But I do also want to recap the week because I feel like this week has just been, it was not as busy as last week, but it's been comical for me. And I don't know if it's just like, I don't know if it's been, if it's a full moon can somebody tell me, is it a full moon? Maybe it's the change of season, the change of weather, but I have had some of the most ridiculous interactions that I've ever had in the past two days. Greg was like, you need to stay home because this can't keep happening. <laughs> Especially because like, you know, I, I don't know how many of you guys are out there in the world. And if I'm having a meltdown in a store, um, some of you guys might see that. And you know what? I'm not embarrassed about it because in both instances, I was right. The customer is always right. But yeah, I had some crazy uh, situations this week. So I'm wondering, is it something in the air? Did you guys have any like weird, like out of body encounters with people? Because I had two in the past two days and I'm like, something must be in the air because this is, this is abnormal. Um, so let me know. Oh, Nicole. Hi, Nicole made it. I thought you were not going to be here, Nicole. Well, this is a nice surprise. Um, okay. So yes, lots of cobblestones in Greece for sure. So yeah, let me know if you guys have had any, um, crazy or like weird out of the ordinary encounters because I had one big one at Zara two days ago. <laughs> If anybody was there two days ago and you saw me at the register and the other one was at Chick-fil-A yesterday, which I alluded to on um, my Instagram story. It was, they're both too long of stories to tell on Instagram. So I was like, these are, I definitely have to tell you guys on the live because they're like crazy. Um, oh yeah. Laura said we had to, we lost an hour. We had to turn the clocks ahead. Okay. So yeah, you're right. There was some like witchy, witchy hourness happening with people's minds. I think everyone's like going crazy this week and probably me too. Listen, I'm going crazy all the time, but they were like very weird encounters. <laughs> My mom said, it's not you, it's them. Well, I appreciate it because both times I called her and I was like, I don't know what's going on, but this is not me. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. Um, Effie said, love Zara, the Natick Mall. Yes. So I love Zara too. I hate going into the store because there's never anybody at the register. There's never anybody in the fitting room. They have like the self checkout machines and they like, I can never get the alarm off. That wasn't even the issue, but I'm just saying I don't like going into the store because I always feel like it's such a hassle, but I do love Zara. Um, I get a lot of Cooper's clothes from Zara because they like nobody really, I've talked about this before, but nobody really makes like nice boys clothes. So Juliet, I can get clothes anywhere, but Cooper, I have to pay a pretty penny for his because nobody makes like nice boy clothes. So it's a tip if you guys are shopping for any um, younger kids or younger boys. I mean, the, the girls' clothes are so adorable, but you can get adorable clothes for a fraction of the price if you really wanted to. But anyway, yeah, it was uh, it was a situation. Yeah. Oh, they have the worst customer service. Effie, you are going to die when you hear the story. So should I just tell you now or should I show some shoes first? Maybe we'll, okay, well, I guess I'll just tell you guys now. I'll wait for some other people to come on before we, before we get into the shoes. But so <laughs> you guys know I did the live, um, was it last two weeks ago where I was comparing the bodysuits and the bodysuits that I had were from Zara and then the other ones were from Skims and we all collectively decided we liked the Skims ones better on me personally. So I went to return the Zara ones. Also, one of them was, um, it was, I thought they were both the same one in different colors, but the other one didn't have adjustable straps. So I couldn't wear it without a bra anyway, whatever. So you might know if you shop at Zara that they have an app. So I have the app and when I checked out, they, um, like they can either give you a receipt or you can pay through the app. Hi, Tony. I'm telling my worst customer service story of the week. <laughs> 
Um, I'm not bashing a company by any means. I love Zara, but their customer service is literally, I mean, it was the worst. So I, to be, to be like foolproof and fail proof, I paid through the app so that on the app I have my receipt. So I don't have to worry about a paper receipt. I'm scarred from anthropology when I couldn't return those pants. So I know I, Jenna can't keep receipts. I will lose everything. So the receipt is on the app. The pictures of every item that you get are on the app. The barcodes are there. It's literally, it's a fail safe, right? Like it is foolproof. So we think. So I get up to the line and there's nobody at the register, clearly. Um, and then somebody comes up to the register and there are two young girls in front of me. They look like they're in middle school, maybe early high school, ninth grade, maybe something like that. And they're trying to return an online order. And this woman at the register is like, can't return it. Nope, not taking it. Sorry, move aside. Like not even giving them any chance to talk or anything. So I was like, hmm, I'm not going to get involved. Even though my instinct was to be like, you know, stick up for them. But I'm not going to get involved. And oh, it's okay, Mary. Hi, welcome to the show. I'm just telling my worst customer story of the week. Uh, worst customer service story of the week. Um but I was actually probably the worst customer that they had this week just because of this situation. Um, so I wasn't getting involved. I'm like, I don't need to waste my energy on this. I feel bad for the girls, but they can handle their own problem. So they, she asked them to step aside to take me. And I'm like, I'm not going to have a problem returning anything. I have it on the app. So I go up, I open the app, I give her the bodysuits, And she says, I uh, can't return this one can't return this one and can't return this one. And I was like, I'm sorry, excuse me, what? And she says, this bodysuit uh, is not on the receipt. And I said, it's literally right there. There's a picture of it. There's a barcode. There's, it's on the receipt. Like it's right here. And she says, nope, you didn't buy that. And I, <laughs> I said, I have the bodysuit. I have the receipt. It's the same thing. And she said, your bodysuit is a small, and the one that's on the receipt is a large. So when you bring me the large bodysuit, I will return it. And she was like literally no emotion at all except disdain for me. I can't return this because you did not buy these. And I was like, um, no, no, no. I bought a size small. I don't know why it says large on the receipt, but it's the same bodysuit. It's purchased at the same time. Like it's a picture of the bodysuit. It's like, this is it. And she was like, nope. When you bring me the large, I'll return it. <laughs> and we're going back and forth. And then she goes on to the next one. And she was like, this one says medium and you bought a small. So I can't return that one either. When you bring me the medium, then you can return it. And I was like, wait a minute, this is not happening twice. Like I'm not, I'm not doing this. And then she says, and I can't return this one because it says, uh, because it's gray or no, because it says that you're supposed to have a black one. And I was like, no, 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 this is charcoal. It's, I mean, it's not black. My phone screen maybe looks black, but it's not black. So I'm like, it's, it's going on for way too long. Anyway, it turns out that the inside tag, you know how like every piece of clothing has like a tag in the inside. So the inside tag was miscoded from the factory. So when I scanned it into the computer, the tag that hangs down that you buy Robin, I know, like Robin says, she's so lucky it wasn't me. Um, I thought they were going to call security on me. She grabbed the phone and I honestly thought she was calling security on me because I was not taking this for, I was not taking this laying down. So the inside factory tag said medium or large or whatever, but the hang tag that you buy said small. And so did the inside tag. And so I thought I was buying a small, but that's probably the reason why it didn't fit me. So I'm explaining that to her. I'm like, well, maybe that's why. And she was like, I've worked here for two years. I've never seen this problem. And I was like, okay, well, this doesn't sound like a me problem or a you problem, but I still want my money back. And she wouldn't give me my money back. So I make a scene. I was, my voice was raised. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> my voice was raised. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> I'm telling a crazy story that happened to me this week. So she says, I will not give you your money back if you talk to me like that. And I said, oh, I'm sorry. Were you going to give me your money back? Or were you going to give me my money back? Because it didn't sound like you were going to. And then she grabs the phone and I'm like, that's it. She's calling security on me. Because I literally, she was like, you have to call customer service. I'm going to take the next, next customer in line. And I was like, 
you are customer service. I am not, it's, I'm not taking this for an answer. I'm returning these bodysuits. I'm getting my money back. And so Robin, I, my mom asked me too, why didn't you call the manager? Cause she was so confident. I thought she was the manager. <laughs> like she was acting like she was in charge. So I assumed she was. So anyway, she grabs the phone thinking that she's going to call a customer service or thinking that she's going to call security. And she actually calls the manager. The manager comes over and like, you know, tries to smooth out the situation. And she was like, usually we have to tell people to call customer service. And I was already like at a level 10. I was yelling at this point. <laughs> and she was like, you keep it down. And I was like, no, I'm not going to keep it down because all these people, and there were a million people online behind me, I'm sure not happy that I was at the register. All these people think that they're going to come and pay with the app, that it's going to be fail proof and foolproof. And you're not going to let them return their items. Like that's, it's, that's not okay. Um, so anyway, she eventually was able to override the system. And I was like, oh, interesting that there was another person. There was an actual way to override the system. And then she was like, well, she can't do that, but I can. And I was like, oh, really? She can't. Well, she seemed very confident that she was the keeper of the, like all of the codes and she knew everything. I mean, I was really, it was, like I said, like level 10. Um, but anyway, so I know Robin, I was really hoping and praying that nobody online or in the vicinity of Zara at the Natick Mall would know who I was because it was that embarrassing to like an outsider. But like, it was three bodysuits. That was almost $100. Come on. Effie, I... I was like an out, I had smoke coming out of my ears because you're telling me that like I'm using your app, your system, the way you want us to do things. And then you're telling me that I can't get my money back. So it was an insane story. Like, I mean, I literally, I was so mad. I was like shaking because I don't yell. I get emotional. Like I'll just start crying. But I was so angry there. I was shaking. I was like sweating. <laughs> but anyway, she ended up overriding and getting my money back. But this is all of this is to say, we all love Zara. And I'm obviously not I, I was buying stuff at the register too. So like, I wasn't gonna be like, I'm never shopping here again. I was literally like, can I return this stuff so I could buy more stuff? <laughs> like, that's literally what was happening. Um, so anyway, I yeah, Sherry, I guess I should amend it and say I wasn't yelling but I was definitely speaking loudly with disdain <laughs> um but yeah it was because I literally like I spend so much money at Zara I buy so much stuff for the kids there and for me so like on that order alone it was hundreds of dollars so you know I'm a repeat customer I was there buying more stuff it wasn't like it was a one-off so that's what I said to her too I was like you can see like I'm not I'm, these didn't fit me. They were marked wrong, like inappropriately. And that's not my fault. It's not your fault. So can we just move on, you know? Um, but anyway, so I'm not going to stop shopping there. But all this is to say, if you guys use the app, make sure that when you like ring it up, because remember it's self-checkout too. So like you're using the self-checkout machine there. When it rings up, make sure the size corresponds with the size that you're buying or you are screwed apparently according to them unless you make a big stink and they override it um <laughs> Effie said I would have loved to run into you there not on that day I was yes Sherry I was speaking loudly with passion <laughs> I totally was it was like I mean I was literally shaking I was so passionate about it and then as I was leaving I said to everybody on the line I was like check your apps Make sure all of your merchandise matches your receipt. Don't get into the situation, but it's true because if they're going to tell you to use the app and then they're not going to take back the items because their app like program comes up with the wrong number, that's not our fault. Come on. So Effie, you use the app. Make sure that you check and make sure that your sizes match, your pictures match, or else you're screwed and they're never going to take back your merchandise. So food for thought you guys um but yeah the store is always crazy there's never anybody there to help you um I think was it the last time I went or two times ago I had like a million things in my hands to go try on like literally my arms were breaking and um they said there was a lot or there wasn't a line but all the fitting rooms were in use so I was waiting and they said we're actually closing the fitting rooms now and I was like 
why? I have all the stuff to try on. And they were like, because I have to go home and there's nobody here to work the fitting room. And I was like, but the store is not closing and I have all these things to try on and I want to buy things. And this guy would not let me use the fitting room that I actually had to wait for a manager to come. And they closed the fitting room and they only opened it for me. They wouldn't let anybody else in it. it like the customer service there is just insane. So buy online, return online. That's what I would say. But if you are going to use the app, make sure all of your stuff matches. Um, you should have said, do I look like I wear a large? Well, I said, you know, they said, why are you returning the stuff? And I said, it doesn't fit. And like now it makes sense if it was really a large and it was marked as a small, duh, it makes sense why it doesn't fit. But she literally was like, when you bring me the large, I'll return it because that's the one you bought. And I was like, listen, lady, that's not what I bought. So it was like kind of, it was ridiculous. Yeah, they are terrible, but the clothes are good. It's a good price point. I really like the clothes. So it's not a knock on the company, it's a knock on who they hire and their customer service. But that's also, you know, it's it's all, I don't know how it was pre-COVID because I didn't have kids, so I didn't really shop at Zara. I started shopping there really because of the kids. Um, but it really is just a sign of like, you know, after COVID, it's like the customer service is so slow to start back up and get to where we were. It's still, it's not the same anywhere. So it's, you know, it's not only them, but this, situation was definitely a them situation <laughs> um anyway so th and this is why i'm telling you that i cannot sell more than five things or sh i'm not selling anything but showing you guys more than five things on these lives because of all of these stories i just love talking to you guys and um hopefully you're not bored by my stories but i'm telling you this as a, a cautionary tale for you guys too because it was crazy and then i have another very similar chick-fil-a story not quite but uh pretty similar anyway so we're gonna get started i'm gonna show you the first pair of shoes not get started it's already freaking half an hour into the show but it's girl time so it's affordable spring shoes plus a girl's night because who else am i gonna complain about this to i already told my mom i already called greg and told him while i was like shaking in the mall so i need to like i need to vent i need to tell you guys so now i'm putting it out on the internet for all the world to see <laughs> Um, I found yet yeah, you yay Jessica found me hi Jessica welcome 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 um, yes she was being a biatch -E, you're right um, yeah customer service is it's uh, it's hard these days for sure for sure um, are the dressing rooms open sometimes they're closed I know so that like literally I'm holding things and they're like yeah I have to go home now so I'm gonna close the dressing room I was the only person there. There was no line behind me, like nothing. There were people, other people in the dressing rooms and I was literally just waiting there with my stuff and he's like, yeah, I'm closing this. So, and I was like, you are not closing this or I am dropping all of the things in my hands right now. Like this, that's what it's gonna be. I'm either trying it on or I'm dropping it right here. <laughs> and then he let me try it on. So anyway, Laura said, Juju has the best wardrobe. Well, I agree. She. Just, she has some select things from Zara, but like I said, it's very easy to find cute girl clothes. If you guys follow me and you ask me for links, I link a bunch of her stuff and it's all, like she wears a lot of, I don't say it's all, but she wears a lot of stuff from Walmart, um, from Target. Like it's so easy to find Amazon, like really easy to find um, less expensive clothes for girls. But for boys, everything is just like Nike or the shorts are too long or Adidas. It's all like sports stuff. So if I, you want any nice boy clothes, you really have to pay for them. And I would say for Cooper specifically, the majority of his stuff comes from Zara. And then also um, Old Navy has really good stuff for both of them. I just got a huge package from Old Navy for them. So let me know if you guys want to see a kids haul. I know that not everybody on these lives has younger kids, but maybe grandkids or nieces or nephews. So if you want a clothing haul for kids, I can definitely do that because the packages that have been coming to my house are nonstop and the clothes are so cute. So even if you don't wanna buy them, if you just wanna see what I'm dressing them in, let me know here in the comments because I can definitely provide that. I love talking about both of their wardrobes, but of course, I mean, Juliet's wardrobe is second to none. Did you guys see what she wore today? Zara overalls, actually. She was wearing her Zara overalls with um, an Amazon pink leopard t-shirt. So, you know, mix and matching. Um, 
But yeah, let me know if you want to see that because I can definitely provide. I used to buy my son things at Nordstrom at that age. So, you know, what's interesting is Nordstrom has nothing um, for his age group. So when he was an infant into like a smaller toddler, like a 2T, Nordstrom, I bought so much stuff from Nordstrom. I love their stuff. But now getting into like the upper toddler, like little kid sizes, it's only um, sports stuff, only Nike, only Under Armour. There's nothing that's like trendy or like cute outfits. So unfortunately Nordstrom is a strikeout for us, but Nordstrom Rack is good for Juge. I loved her leopard sweater. I had the same one. I know she's so, it's so good. Um, yeah, today she looked super cute. Everybody, she, everyone always dies over her when I bring her to the gym. So that's her runway is walking from the car into lifetime is like everyone just stops and stares at her and I just get really, I feel very validated when I choose my outfits for her. And then she goes into arts and crafts and ruins them. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about the first pair of shoes, which is the one that I am wearing. And let me just get the, remember, if you like any of these shoes, if you, well, if you like this show, please subscribe. Tell a friend, tell two friends. The more subscribers I have, the more shows I can do for you and the more um, stuff I can bring you because as you get more subscribers, you get more stuff open to you in um, like the social media, like YouTube world and even Instagram too. So if you guys, I think you guys are all following me on Instagram or how else would you find me? But if you're not following me, if you have friends that aren't following me, follow me because the more stuff I can get, the more stuff I can do for you. So um, I'm not really sure I'm still new to like the YouTube world, but the more subscribers you get, you hit tiers and then you can end up doing more things with your live shows. So it's really, really a new, uh, playing field. Is that what they say for us? So if you have a friend that would like this show, if you have two friends, send them my way, tell them to subscribe. Um, it's girl time. It's fun. Like it's already 936 and I just told you a horrible customer service story. <laughs> um, Okay, Cher said I have twin boys going to be five in May. Well, there you go. So if you guys want a clothing haul, let me know. Um, yes, TJ Maxx is all sports clothes for boys. You're right, Jessica. We went there too and we struck out there. Walmart has some cute stuff. I bought, I definitely, Walmart has upped their game so much with um, clothing in the social media era. Uh, I get a lot of Juliet's really cute clothes there. And also I just bought a bunch of stuff for Cooper. So excited about that. And I'll show you guys if you are interested. So remember to subscribe to this channel, tell a friend, and also if you like anything on this show, please use the link that's in the bio or on my Like to Know It. I will show you guys how to do that. You probably already know. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go into the Like to Know It and see that the, I'll show you guys, I just said I wasn't going to, but I'm going to show you here. So in my Like to Know It here, you can see, um, like to know it is right here when you click on that link in my Instagram page and then you scroll down and this is my live shoe collection and you'll see some sneak peeks from tomorrow from next week's live as well but this is the shoe that we are going to be talking about and this shoe is $32.99 so literally amazing price $32.99 for these shoes so again, you're like just on that cusp of $30. So when I said I was doing a shoe live, Effie was like, no, I don't need any more shoes. I can't buy any more shoes. But come on, when everything is $20, $30, you can get new shoes, especially like something like this in DSW in a designer brand would easily be 90, 120, maybe 70 on sale. These are so cute. So this is the shoe. It has a gold, like a light gold buckle. It is um, like a suede feeling. I got my normal size, which is the size eight, and they fit perfectly. They are so comfortable. And I'm like laughing to myself about how, um, how long I searched for loafers in the fall, I guess because it was like just beginning to be a trend. So maybe they like weren't really everywhere, but I also tried on a bunch and they weren't comfortable. These, I wasn't even looking for loafers and I was like, oh, I'll just order them to like go with outfits. I don't have to wear them. They are so comfortable. So they are, again, they're Target. They are A New Day is the brand. They're $32. Um, I was just in DSW. They have nothing. It looks like years past inventory. Yeah, I totally agree, which is why I was like, oh, the shoes this year are just going to be like last year's shoes, but they're not. 
because I found some really great ones at Target. So these are so cute. I'm just gonna move this around so you can see. Um, I'm wearing them with jeans, but if you guys are teachers, if you are in the office, they go really well with some of those cute um, casual trousers, like the ones that I've been showing you guys, my new favorite pants. I just got another color you might've seen on my story. I got light blue. Those are a little bit more expensive from Nordstrom, but the other two are from Amazon. Um, I showed you guys those in on Instagram. So these go really well with those, especially because those are like ankle length. So you can wear a flat with them, no problem. So if you are interested in the trouser trend, but you don't love it with sneakers, which is how I'm seeing it for like everything. If you don't love it with sneakers, I know my mom doesn't. Those are great trousers to get because like I said, they're cropped length and you can wear flat with them. So these are super cute. They come in black and also black and white, which I really like, but a little too, I feel like I'm not gonna wear them a lot. So if you're interested in something really trendy, the black and white is really cute, but these are such a great um, spring um, like material because it's that like suede. So really great light and also like a light color. So you can wear these with shorts, you can wear them with jumpsuits, with trousers, with jeans. They're just like a really nice, comfortable, easy shoe and great transition. Like you can wear them right now and then all the way through the summer too. So if you're wearing, a, if you like to wear a closed toe in the summer, but you don't want it to look too wintry, these are a great one to wear in the summer. I love loafers, I love mules. So really, really good to pair with um, summer wardrobe. So that is, uh, Effie said, I love Target. I've gotten five pairs of sandals at Target. I honestly, <laughs> most of the shoes are from Target. I have one from Walmart and one from Amazon to show you, but most of them are from Target. So this is number one and I just love them. They're so comfortable. And again, I got my size, my true to size, which is a size eight. Sometimes I have to size up to an eight and a half, but very rarely. So normal size eight. And they are super cute. And again, they go with like everything because it's a neutral beige color. So that's the first pair and that is $32.99. The next pair is one that you guys saw um, on the last live. I just love these so much. And these are the ones I was telling my mom she should take to Greece with her. They are sort of like the, the takeoff on the Steve Madden Hermes shoe. I'll show you guys up close in the camera. These come in a bunch of different colors as well. So this is the like straw raffia, but they also come in black. I think they come in camel. And these are in the $20 range, I think. Yep, these are $20. Like, come on, $20 for these. So just a great slip on shoe. They have a little bit of memory or like memory foam cushion right here in like the heel part of the shoe and then nothing really on the toe like a little cushion, but it's actually more than the Steve Madden. Do I have the Steve Madden one here? Uh, so I own the Steve Madden version, which is the takeoff on the Hermes version. So it goes like the designer, the designer, and then this is the dupe of that. So the Steve Madden one has absolutely no cushion. It's just that like thin strip of leather. So they're really, unless you break them in, they're not that comfortable, but these are have more cushion in them than the Steve Madden ones. I don't know about the Hermes ones because I don't own those. Um, but these are the Target version and I just love the way they look, classy. You can wear them with shorts casually, like super casual if you want to. And then you can dress them up with jumpsuits. I think I wore them with that Target jumpsuit that I showed you guys the other day. And you can wear them with like a nice shorts set. You can wear them with linen shorts. Um, those like suit pants shorts are really in style now. So again, you can make them dressy if you want to. And then they can also be casual. Jenna says, I bought them in black and I love them. They are so good. Uh, is the material across the top stiff? Nope. It's nice and can you see here? I'm like so stuffed up. It's nice and pliable, if you will. Um, it feels a little bit like you might have to wear them a little bit to get them to like form to your foot, but they're not stiff. So comfortable. And again, they come in a bunch of different colors. But I will say that this color is, or material, is definitely gonna sell out because it's like the material of the season. I think Tony, I was talking to Tony about um, the straw bags and how I'm seeing them everywhere. Straw is, and like raffia is really, really, really trendy this year. So I would say Target shoes sell out and it's always like, are they gonna come back in stock? Are they not? So for something like this, that's $20 and you're like, it's an everyday shoe or you can dress it up. I would definitely get them, especially if you are interested in this, the like straw one in particular,
because if they sell out, it's like, are they going to come back or not? And then you're going to be killing yourself that you didn't get them. Like I've been in years past because you just can never trust that they're going to restock them. So nope, the top is not stiff. Somebody just asked that. Um, it's nice and, I don't know, pliable. <laughs> so that is Numero Dos. Cute, cute, cute. And again, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with shorts, a dress, a skirt. I was going to change my outfits to show you guys how they look with certain outfits, but I decided that the show was probably going to become too long anyway. So if you are interested, if you need to see it styled with other outfits, I can obviously provide that because I am doing a lot more um, fashion forward content now on my Instagram, you might have noticed. So if you need to see them styled with... Um, like a more upscale outfit, a casual outfit. I can totally do that for you. Or you can just grab them and experiment yourself and also obviously ask me questions about it. So a lot of you already know this, but I talk to you guys all the time on Instagram and social media. It's my favorite thing to do is to talk to you guys. And I get a lot of style questions. Like I said, Tony was asking about the straw bags, which I'm going to get a bunch of them and we're going to talk about which ones we like and which ones we don't. Um, I say we collectively because we all have to like them in order to buy them, right? So we're going to do that. Um, I just have so much in the lineup for you guys, but I get asked a lot of style questions. Like the other day we voted on what dress Effie was going to wear to her wedding or to the, uh, not her wedding. That'd be funny if we voted on a dress for somebody like a bride, uh, like a wedding gown, um, a dress for her to wear to a wedding that she's going to. So I love style questions. I love helping you guys out um, as best as I can. So hoping that that continues and we can do a lot more of that on the show as well. So yes, I know Tony says, I can't believe these are from Target. And not only can you not believe they're from Target, they're $20. It's like insane. So remember the links to all of these shoes are in the description of this YouTube video and also in the link in my bio. So the link in my bio and Instagram and Facebook, I think it's there too. So that's where you can find everything. <clears throat> so that is shoe number two. Shoe number three is this pair of shoes that I love. I talked about them on the live last week, but I didn't put them on for you guys. So you know I'm a baby when it comes to heels, but these are so comfortable. They are a tad wide, so if you have a wider foot, you might consider sizing down in them. They are so cute, and they are from Walmart. So these, I think, are... I have two that are... Uh, oh, these are $22. $22. Oh, so I linked, I was going to say, I thought these were in the 40 range. I linked a similar pair from Walmart. They're more of a designer brand called Journey and they're 47, but they're similar. They're not the same. These are $22.98. So 22 bucks for a pair of heels. You can wear these to a, like a wedding, a rehearsal dinner if you wanted to more casual, like semi-formal wedding. Rehearsal dinner, um, you can wear them on vacation. They're super comfortable because they have that block heel. Like I said, I'm a baby when it comes to heels. So if it's a skinny heel, probably not wearing it, especially if it's high. But these are not high. They're maybe a little bit higher than, no, this is about the size heel that I'm comfortable in. So I would say it's probably about a two and a half inch heel. And I love the fact that it is like this wood, like it's like a wood chunk heel. And it has, like, the colors are just, like, really, really nice. And this one comes in a brown tone as well. But I really like the light. I'm seeing light colors and neutral colors are, like, it for the season. I wish I could turn this camera and you could see the closet of all the stuff that I've been shooting and trying on for you guys and buying <laughs> from Target and all the stuff that I've been pulling from my closet to mix and match and make outfits out of. It's literally all neutral. Beige, white, gray. That's all I'm seeing. And then like pops of color here and there. Um, if you guys saw my Instagram story the other day when I was in Nordstrom, I tried on a bunch of stuff just because, you know, I get some I get some time free on Tuesdays. So I always like to see what's out there. And I tried on this like, I put together this all blue ensemble and I got so many comments from you guys being like, you need to buy that outfit. I bought the pants, but I refrained from buying the shirt and the blazer. <laughs> Might go back for it because I already have a blue blazer, but if you guys don't, seriously, check out my Like to Know It because that blazer is so good and it's on sale and it's it's a lighter version of the one that I already have, so that's why I'm like, I probably don't need to spend the money on it, 
but blue, I'm seeing blue like everywhere. Um, but otherwise, neutral color tones for sure. Um, oh, Jessica, thank you so much. She said you were the first model I ever saw. I love your style. I, I appreciate that so much. And I am experimenting with you. You might remember me saying that I was never the fashionable one in my family. My mom can attest to that. My sister was always the one all about fashion. Um, and I was always just like not into it because I liked to be comfortable. And I didn't think that you could be comfortable and fashionable at the same time. And so over the last, you know, six or so years, I've really been exposed to so much. And I've realized, wait a minute, if you have autonomy over your own style, you can pick and choose what you like, what you're comfortable in and what you feel confident in. And it's just about what makes you feel good. And like, I didn't realize that it's so like weird to say, but I didn't realize that until I was an adult that like, it can be fun and comfortable and fashionable all at the same time. So that's why I'm here to do these videos because I didn't learn that until a couple of years ago. And if I can learn it, you guys can learn it. I seriously, I was just like, it was not my thing to put outfits together. I didn't find it fun because I wasn't comfortable in the stuff that I was being put in. No offense, mom, but I like the stuff that she's comfortable in, I'm not comfortable in. And I thought that that's how you dress to be fashionable. And I didn't realize that you can kind of create your own style. And for me, comfort is above all else. If I'm not comfortable in it, I'm not, comf I'm not confident in it and I'm not happy. So think about that, right? If you're not comfortable, you're not confident and therefore you're not happy. So you need to find your own personal style where you can feel like you can be yourself. And for me, that's comfort above all else. It might not be for other people. It might be the way you look, the, you know, that might give you the confidence. But for me, it's being comfortable. So um, if you are the same way, you've come to the right place. And if you're not, you've come to the right place too because you can still get advice and we can trade style tips and all that kind of stuff too. And of course, it's just a girl's night after all. So you're more than welcome, whatever your style is. But for me, it's comfort. Um, oh my gosh, my mom says they look like my Andrea Sue's mine were $130 in Bloomingdale's. Well, see, there you go. Um, I'm telling you, these shoes, $22. Like, you can't miss with these. They're comfortable. They're a little wide. So these are an eight and a half. Well, that's why. So I got them a little big. I didn't realize. So I guess in your true size, they'd probably be good. These are an eight and a half. So if I got an eight... Uh, had I gotten an eight, I'm sure they would have fit a little bit better. They're just a little bit wide in the um, like upper part of the foot. So yeah, other than that, $22 and you can dress them up. You can dress them down like so cute. You could even wear these. I'm just looking at what I have staring me in the face right here. But like, do you remember the other day when I tried on the um, those linen sets from Target? Like this with a pair of linen shorts or like a jean skirt or something like that. And then these shoes just like totally dress up an otherwise casual outfit. So if you're somebody who likes to wear a heel, you can incorporate it into your casual look as well. So that is the third pair. And then <laughs> this one's going to take me a while to put on. So these you might have seen. Oh, thank you so much. Sherry said you have a great style. <laughs> I appreciate that more than you know, because it took me 30 years to figure out what my style is. Um, 29 years, 30 years. So yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, you definitely come into your own and you look beautiful. Thank you, guys. I haven't looked at Walmart for shoes in a long time. Yeah, I would say that their shoe game is still a little lacking, but I walked by those and I was like, I definitely saw those in Target last year. So they definitely have some gems in there. And online, they have so much more inventory than they have in a store. So you can look online too. Like I said, there's a Journey, that name, pair that's very similar to those. I'll actually, I'll show you guys. Because um, I linked it as something that is similar. So again, you go to the Like to Know It page. right here and this is the similar pair so it's like a similar style but these are journey so I think they're known for comfort and again it's a it's a designer so you're gonna see 
it's still on sale and it's still under $50, but it's um, definitely more of that designer price. And they're also really cute. I happen to like the other style better and I can show them to you up close so you guys can see them too. So that's the style. So cute. And that's obviously, see, like, look at all those cute shoes. So anyway, they do have some good stuff and most of it is, I would say, more, uh, the online inventory is better than what's in the store. But I think it also depends on your Walmart. Like when I go to Walmart here in Massachusetts, it's like, okay. Although I have to say, I usually have my kids with me, so <laughs> I really can't like spend the time to shop. But the Walmarts in Florida, when I go to visit my parents in Naples, oh my gosh, they're like amazing. They're beautiful and they're new. And like, I just love going to Walmart when I'm in Naples. So I think it really depends where you go and um, like what the inventory is. But Anyway, I digress. So these next shoes are from Amazon and they are also a takeoff on a designer shoe. I don't know what the designer is though or who the designer is, but I've seen them everywhere. So they are viral shoe. So I'm gonna show you right before I put them on. So they have um, a like flip-flop toe and then it's a strap that goes around. So they're supposed to look really, really strappy. That's their thing. Um, that's what the heel looks like and right away I'm like I don't love the heel but this is super trendy right now you guys might remember uh, a couple lives ago I showed you the shoes that I'm going to be wearing to my sister-in-law's wedding and it's a very similar heel so the heel makes it easy to walk in because you can see it's low it comes to sort of like the center of the heel which makes it easier to walk in personally I don't love the way it looks but I can't wear a heel that's higher than this or that comes from the back it's just not comfortable so you have to trade comfort for the way it looks i just it's not my favorite heel but i will bypass it if i like the way the rest of the shoe looks so oh hello thank I you like my tea last week so what is my decaf coffee decaf coffee i just drank a, a celsius before this an energy drink because i was like on the floor actually i was in cooper's bed snoring because i can't breathe out of my nose <laughs> literally uh half an hour before the live I was like okay gotta get up took my 20 minute nap okay whoo this is the cup that this uh coffee cup that Cooper bought me for the holidays this year no matter what life throws at you at least you don't have ugly children Cooper literally picked this out Greg told me they were looking on a website for gifts for me and Cooper wanted to buy this one for me so He's not wrong, but it's just funny that he literally picked this out. Um, okay. Oh, actually, that feels so good on my throat. I love when my mom's here visiting. Personal cleaner up of my kitchen, packer up of the school lunches, and servant to bring me tea or coffee while I do my live show. <laughs> Can't get better than that, right? Um, now you just, mom, you just have to learn how to use the technology so that you can set all this stuff up for me and I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> You need to actually be my assistant for this. Um, okay, so I agree with social media. Walmart has stepped up their game for sure. Walmart is killing it. Well, you guys, um, my sister's boyfriend is going to be very happy to hear this. He works in marketing for Walmart, and I keep telling him, it's like people love it. It's going crazy. So who knows? Maybe if you guys start buying a bunch of Walmart stuff, we'll be able to do some Walmart fun stuff. I'll have to con him into it. Um, anyway, yes, Walmart is killing it. You, uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to show him this comment thread. He's going to be very happy to hear all of this because he's been working really hard on uh, a bunch of their campaigns. So, all right. So these strappy shoes are from Amazon. These, these are not from Walmart, but they're a little hard to put on. So I am, they're not hard, but I mean, when you're trying to talk to the camera, they're hard. So, okay, there we go. So they're supposed to look super strappy and... That is like this, tr I've been seeing this trend everywhere. I've been seeing it with the trousers, with um, like dresses, skirts. So I wanted to try out for myself and see what I thought. So these shoes I think are also 47 and again on Amazon. So I'm gonna actually roll this up so you can see the bottom or the top of them. Okay, so that is 
the shoe. It's supposed to look super strappy, super sexy. They are so cute and it would look great with, I have this like flowy floral maxi skirt that I really wanted to wear to show these shoes. Maybe I'll like just shoot a reel in it because it's so cute. And it's actually, I ordered a black, um, you guys know like the, those black pleated maxi skirts that were super trendy in the winter. I ordered that from H&M and they sent me something completely different. It was a floral maxi skirt that I did not buy and I ended up falling in love with it. So I have it now. And um, I just kept it because it was so cute. And this would, these shoes would look so cute with it. So I might actually shoot that. And then when you guys see it, you could be like, oh, that's what she was talking about. Um, but anyway, so these are really cute. I will say they are not that comfortable. So they actually feel a little more comfortable, maybe because I'm on carpet, than they felt when I was shooting the reel for it um, a couple of days ago. They just like the thing in between the toe, like goes kind of too far into the foot part of between your toes and it's kind of like pressing on there. So ah, I love the way they look, but as far as comfort, like if you were gonna wear them to a wedding and have to be in them all day. Mm, for me, like I said, I'm a baby about heels. So if you guys wanna try them, you might wanna try them. Um, again, it's Amazon, so you can always try and walk around in them and then return them if you have to. Um, but hi, Amy. She said she was watching Grey's Anatomy and she forgot about the live. Hi, welcome. Well, you guys know you're never late. And if you if you forget about the live, you can always watch the replay. But it is more fun when you can comment um, and, you know, talk live. Um, <laughs> Mom needs her own stool next to you. I agree. I told her she can come on anytime she wants. We will for sure have her on for a Mother's Day Live, but we should have her on before that. I agree. Um, anyway, so these, like I said, for comfort, I am a baby about heels. So the part that goes in between your toe is the part that's sort of like pressing in between, you know, like this part of your toes. So like that or your foot. So that's like a little bit uncomfortable for me. There's no padding or anything in there. But I don't know if they would break in if I get used to it. You know when a flip-flop feels like that on you? It's like pressing on that part in between your toes. So I love the way they look. The heel doesn't bother me as much when I see the whole like strappy shoe together. And again, they are everywhere. And this is the, like, I guess, least expensive Amazon option because they're obviously a takeoff on a designer shoe because everybody's wearing them now. I just don't know what designer it is. Do you guys know? Um, I don't know if you guys have seen them. Yeah, I knew my mom was going to love these. She loves strappy shoes and the heel is so low. I guarantee you as soon as this live is over, she's going to be coming down here to try them on. Um, they're really, really gorgeous and they definitely make a statement. I wish they were more comfortable in between the toes. So that is my honest opinion, but I do love the way they look. So if you have a photo shoot coming up or if you are like, well, if you're like me with the Valentino shoes, you could wear them to a restaurant, then, you know, and you're like sitting down most of the time, go for it. Again, they're $47, so it's not breaking the bank, but you want to make sure that if you're going to buy them, you're going to wear them. Um, oh, hi, Ula. I didn't know you were on. Uh, she said they give a Stuart Weitzman vibe. Yeah, they definitely do. Like very strappy and like sophisticated and will look great with a swing skirt or a swing dress. Um, just I really love the style of the shoe. I just wish there was like padding or something in between the toe portion. But so cute. And again, like look at that heel. It's it's only about two inches. So again, great shoe for a wedding if they were a little bit more comfortable for me. But they might work for you. Again, like I said, I... I'm very sensitive. My feet are very sensitive, <laughs> so um, it doesn't work for me. Um, so I will be returning these personally unless my mom wants to um, try them on. Just because it's like this part that's in between the toes is what's like pressing on me. But they are so cute. So if you guys want to give them a try, um, I would suggest giving it a try if you like the shoe just because they are so cute. And if you don't think they hurt, then you get a cute pair of shoes. And then if they do hurt, you can always send them back. <clears throat> so that's what I'll say about those. And then my last pair is my favorite pair, you guys. So I did all the promos for tonight's live in these shoes. I love them. There's something so like breakfast at Tiffany's about them or like, you know, obviously they're supposed to look like Chanel, like the classic Chanel shoe. 
Um, they are so cute. I am obsessed. So these are from Target as well. My throat is really hurting me. Maybe I am getting sick. My throat hurts. I have a stuffy nose. I'm just pretending that I'm not getting sick because I don't want to. I'm like avoiding it. Um, all right. So on a scale of one, two, these shoes are so cute. What's this? I mean, they are amazing. So these are, let me see, um, $30, you guys, $30. So here's my take. Okay. Amy says these are cute. I totally agree. So the number one thing is I see them and I'm like, these are so cute. First of all, they come in all black. They come in a bunch of colors too. Let, let me just see. Um, going back to my shoes. So I linked that this one's similar, but it has a pointed toe. So these are the exact ones. Oh, sorry. I thought I was sharing my screen. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So these are the exact ones, $30. They come in this like pink, um, design too, which is cute. This is the one that I have. And then I also linked, these are very similar. It has a pointed toe and they're all black or no, that one's kind of weird. That's cute too. But yeah, so these are the all black ones with a pointed toe. I have another pair, cute pair of ba black ballet flats that I'm going to be trying on for you guys on the next shoe live. But these, if you guys like the two tone, which I really like it, it is so trendy because as you, oops, I almost banned you, Sherry. Sorry. I just clicked on the comments and it was like, ban Sherry? Definitely don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, these are so cute. The um, sort of like retro trend is totally coming back. The menswear trend is totally here. As you can see with the trousers, the blazers, the button up shirts, it's all like girl boss. Um, there it's actually, it's being called boss wear, which I, I don't have a problem with that. But in that same sort of vein are these shoes because they're very like work appropriate but like so retro, so trendy, so classic, so timeless. So whenever we're looking for pieces to add to our wardrobe, and one of the things that I said on the live the other, uh, uh, one of my first lives was, how do you make something trendy and timeless? And we were talking about skinny jeans, and the way you do that is you add trendy pieces around a timeless piece. And these can be both trendy and timeless because if you go back through the decades, you'll see that these were popular in the 50s. You know what I mean? It's like they are timeless. They're always going to come back. And it's because that like Chanel vibe about them, upscale women, boss, like girl boss, like that's it's just like so classy and beautiful. Um, I just love this. So these are, like I said at first, a sling back. So my first impression was these are so gorgeous. They're never going to stay on my feet because actually I don't even know why. I think my mom always told me that slingbacks never stay on my feet. So I feel like I've always assumed that they didn't stay on my feet. I don't know if I've ever actually worn slingbacks. I think I just took her word for it. See, this is what I mean about fashion. Like I didn't think it was fun because I always was like looking at her style and you guys know she has a very specific style and being like, that's not comfortable for me to wear. And so she tells me that these aren't comfortable, so I assume they're not, but they actually are staying on my feet. So I wore them when I was shooting all that footage the other day, so I really like them. And I will say when I first put them on, I was like, these are, um, I'm at first I was disappointed because this part of the shoe was digging into the top of my foot. And I was like, well, that's it. I can't wear these because it hurts. Like I, I'm already getting red, but this is my second day wearing them or the second time, you know, I had them on for about an hour when I was shooting and then I have put them on now. And I have to say that I think they've already stretched out. So the, the top of it. So the, it was like very, when we talk about the top being stiff, like up here. So this felt really stiff the other day when I put them on and I was like, well, if it's digging into my foot, I don't want to wear them. And I have to say that they already feel like it's like, it already feels like it's better. So, um, I thought that I was going to have to return them and I came on the show basically saying, I love these, but I'm probably gonna have to return them. And I think a couple more wears and I'm going to be able to keep them. So time will tell. They are also target and they are, what did I say they were? 
$30. Like, you cannot get better than this. $30. Yeah, they, my mom said they never stay on her and they don't stay on my sister. Well, I think I'm going to be good with them. The only thing that I, that remains to be seen is if the top is going to um, cut into me, but they don't seem to be cutting into me right now. So that's better. But again, I'm also on carpet now, whereas on a hardwood floor, um, shooting all the footage. So that could also be the difference. So I would say if you love them, try them because they are $30 and they are the cutest. I would say out of all the shoes I tried out today, besides the loafers, I mean, I just love the loafers. Um, I just really, really love these and they're so trendy. The price point is great. They're comfortable if they don't hurt you on the top part and if slingbacks stay on your feet. So I'm gonna keep trying them out and I'm gonna keep hoping for the best because they're so cute. So I'm definitely not returning these yet, but I have to kind of break them in, I think. That's what I'll say. Um, they just recently had 20% off all shoes at Target. Well, I didn't know that, but I'm still, I'm glad that these are still available because like I said earlier, the Target shoes, once they sell out, you don't know if they're gonna come back or not. So, um, so anyway, so yes, I really do love these. These are probably my pick of the night besides the loafers, which for all of you guys who signed on late, these are the loafers that I showed right at the beginning and they are, what did I say, $30? Ridiculous, like crazy. So $30 for these, they are also from Target and they fit perfectly true to size eight. I have an eight in everything except those Walmart shoes. Apparently I got an eight and a half and I didn't know. And that's why they fit a little bit big. So everything that I showed tonight is true to size and I just really love these are so classy and sophisticated. I love them. So cute. Um, okay, so those are my shoes. I saw a couple questions about the top that I'm wearing. Yes, Amy, totally good work shoes for sure. Um, so the top that I have, I will link the outfit for you. So it is a takeoff on the free people set. Uh, I posted it ages ago last I think last summer I posted it and it's still going strong. So this actually came in a set with a pair of joggers. It's an Amazon version of the Free People designer outfit and I love it. I also have it in gray. I think I'll wear the gray one when I do the part two so you guys can see it. When I do uh, Shoes Live part two probably next week, I'll wear the gray one. Um, and yeah, it's a set and I got a size small I believe. I will link it um, also in this grouping of shoes, so if you guys are interested, you can see that. I think it's already linked on my Amazon storefront, but I'll link it in the affordable shoes live on my like to know it. And then if whoever didn't watch the live is gonna be like, why is there an outfit linked in your shoes? But you guys will all know why. Um, so yeah, I got a size small, I love it. I love the neckline and I always wear them separate. So I like, I like it together too. It came with a pair of like cream colored joggers but I always wear this with like suit, the trouser pants or a pair of jeans. I just think it's like such a great casual, like trendy casual elevated top. You know what I mean? So I like that. And yeah, th those are the shoes. I will say that, um, like I said, Target is amazing. <laughs> Effie said I have that too. I bought the set. Yeah, it's so good. And I just love the fact that you can get all of these really cute designer shoes and pay like a fraction of the price from designers because they're not really designer shoes but you know what I mean designer looking shoes the shoe game has really amped up and I am all for it so that is our first shoe live so I need to ask you guys a question would you like an Easter inspo live next week because Easter is at the end of the month which I feel like is throwing everything off because it feels so early so if I do an Easter outfits live um Let's see. If I do it next week, then it's like a week and a half until Easter. So if you guys like anything, you'll have enough time to order it. So that is, uh, I can show you guys stuff that I got for the kids for Easter baskets. <laughs> I can make the Easter baskets on live with you because I still have to do that. Um, and then I can show you things that I got for them, like outfits for them to wear, outfits for me to wear, which I still, I don't know what I'm wearing. So we can all decide what I would wear together. Um, so let me know if you guys are interested in an Easter live or if you just want to see part two next week and just forget about Easter and skip over it. We can do that too. Uh, but I have a lot of stuff on the docket to, to show you guys. I'm really excited about what's um, to come. I have a lot of things in the works for you guys. Um, 
Okay, Effie said Greek Easter is in May. Okay, well, yeah, so Rosh Hashanah, uh, or not Rosh Hashanah, Passover doesn't, uh, it, Passover's not until my birthday, April like 25th-ish. So we have a long way for that, but I know a lot of people are celebrating Easter at the end of this month. So if you're looking for inspiration, um, Tony says yes. Okay, so maybe we'll do um, an Easter Outfits live next week just to give you guys some inspiration for some outfits. I have to put some stuff together, so I have to figure it out because I still don't know what I'm going to wear because I'm still in like the winter transitional and I'm not ready to wear like full spring yet because it's still kind of cold. So I don't know. But uh, before I go, I want to tell you guys, I don't want to end on this note, but my Chick-fil-A, uh, my Chick-fil-A story was that I, I started going to Chick-fil-A a few months, probably about a year ago now. I never went before and it is so good. And it's so convenient to go with the kids because they have a play area there. The food is quick. It's good. They have good options for the kids. So we, I tend to go there, um, you know, instead of going to like a diner or something, because there really are no diners around here in Massachusetts. So we went there. So I always order ahead of time. And if you guys have ever ordered on the app, it always says like you order it, even if you're going to eat it in store or pick it up or whatever, it says you ordered it and then let us know when you're at the restaurant so we can start making your food. And I'm like, the reason why I'm ordering it ahead is because I don't want you to start making the food when I get there because I have hungry kids. So I want, and I don't want them immediately going into the play area. I want them to eat first so their hands don't get like germy and everything. So I have like a whole method to what I'm doing. I'm an overthinker, can you tell? So I order all the food on the app and I say I'm already at the restaurant. That way they just start making the food. And I'm literally 10 minutes away. Like I'm in the same town. I'm in the vicinity. I'm driving. Like I, we, I dropped Julia. We finished dancing school and we were going or being at the park or whatever. And we were going to Chick-fil-A. So I order and I say I'm already at the restaurant. Obviously I'm not already at the restaurant. So we get there and I ordered, you know, the kids meals, something for me. And I ordered a milkshake and Juliet's came with milk too because it was a kid's meal. So we get in there and I see mobile order for Jenna and it's only a milkshake, a milk, and like a toy for the kid's meal. There's no food. Cooper's drink isn't there. Like no, there's nothing there. So I'm like, oh, this is weird. Okay. So I ask somebody like maybe the food's not ready yet. Nobody knows what happened to the food. So I'm like, everyone's looking at me like dumbfounded, like blank stares. They have no idea. They've never seen my name. And I was like, well, clearly you got the order because half of the order is here or a piece of the order is here. So everyone's like, we don't even have a ticket with her name on it. And now everyone's involved in like the back. We don't have a ticket. We don't know where her food is, like whatever. It turns out that if it's, I think it was the manager who came over. I don't even know who it was who came over to me, but if it's sitting for more than X number of minutes, they are nervous about foodborne illness or whatever, and they throw it out. So somebody threw out the food because it was like, I was literally my GPS said I was 10 minutes away. And then it took me a few minutes to get them out of the car. And I went in and the food wasn't there. So when the manager came over, he was like, well, you ordered this, um, 19 minutes ago so we had to dispose of the food and I was like well no I ordered it 19 minutes ago but I've been here looking for the food for like five minutes he was like well now it's been 21 minutes and I was like okay but I'm here looking for the food and like it's was it 15 minutes and he was like well past the 15 minute mark we have to throw the food out <laughs> I'm like what I'm like, so you had to throw the chicken out, but the milk is okay to stay out for 15 minutes? The milkshake is okay to stay out for 15 minutes? So, again, it was another, like, I didn't necessarily cause a scene, per se, but I was just like, this makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> like, I couldn't understand the fact that they would throw out food after 10 minutes. Like, I don't, whatever. So anyway, they were super nice about it. They remade the food and whatever, but... All of this is to say a cautionary tale for you guys. Don't do what I did. And I guess at this point you have to order when you get there because they make the food so fast. <laughs> but still, like, you know, I, I didn't do it like I did it on purpose so that my kids 
weren't in the play area getting germs all over before they ate with their hands. You know what I mean? Like you pick up chicken nuggets with your hands. So I had a reason why I did the things I did. Like, I don't care if it's like sitting there waiting for me. The food's always so hot anyway, and it needs some time to cool down. But anyway, yeah, we are all living on Mars, Sherry. I totally agree. Um, <laughs> Ula said he, this guy needs to try and be a mom for a day. I know. And then this woman came over to the table and she was like, you know, you ordered this for um, pickup. Next time you should order it for dining in if you're dining in. And I was like, well, I, I ordered it for pickup on purpose so that it would be made ahead of time. And she was like, well, when you come in, you could just scan your table number and then we know where to bring it. And I was like, yes, I understand. I wanted the food already ready so that my, my hungry kids could eat it when we got here and they weren't sitting there waiting for the food. Like <laughs> there is a reason why I didn't do that. And it's very clear that you don't have children. Thank you very much for your comments and I will not be taking your advice. <laughs> So yeah, people are so, I agree, Mary, people are so weird these days. I called, I texted Greg and I was like, what is going, what is in the air? Because this is the second day. I'm two for two with these weird customer service interactions. And he was like, you need to stay home. Like, don't, don't go out in public anymore. So it was so crazy. McDonald's does the same, but they used to give the food to the employees. This was way back when I worked there in high school. Yeah, nobody knew where the food went. Like, there was not even somebody who admitted to throwing the food out, so we have no idea where it went. I don't know. All I know is they're so worried about the chicken sitting out. Meanwhile, the milk was out there, and the milkshake was out there, and nobody said anything. And by the way, the milkshake was still frozen. So, like I said, I ordered it within minutes of arriving. Their story doesn't really line up. But anyway, I thought that was a funny story to tell you guys. <laughs> a little too long for me to post on Instagram, but I was just like, what is going on? And my girls will appreciate this because it was such a ridiculous situation that I was like, I have to tell you guys what happened. Um, so anyway, yeah, I need to stay home in DoorDash. Oh, don't get me started on DoorDash, Effie. You don't want to know what happens on DoorDash. Every time I do a live, my food does not... Actually, it runs. Every time I do a live, my food does not arrive. It's like clockwork. It's DoorDash. We use it so much here, unfortunately, just because I can't cook as much as I would love to. And it's the worst, but we have to use it. So we have no other choice. <laughs> My husband is going through a crazy situation with Verizon. Oh, if you guys want to hear a crazy meltdown of a situation, my mom should come down here and tell you how she handled a situation in Verizon <laughs> when you were in high school. She knows exactly what I'm going to say. Mom, do you want to run down and tell everybody what you said? Is she listening? We're on a delay, so I don't know if she can hear me she went we were in high school or I was in high school and like we you know first started getting cell phones and she went ballistic on them in in Verizon like I try to keep my cool she goes from like a one to a ten in a second and she was do you remember that commercial with the guy trying to find his network so she's like having a problem getting service or something on her phone and she literally, I remember her fighting with the guy in Verizon and she was like screaming in the store, where's my network? Where's my network? Like walking up and down the store, like the guy in the commercial. I don't see my network. Where's my net? I was, it was hysterical if it wasn't so embarrassing for me to be a high school kid being like, my, what is my mom doing? So I totally get that, Sherry. I'm sure like phone companies are the absolute worst. Anytime you have to deal with phone, electricity, any kind of like utility, like forget about it. It's awful. But like I said, customer service this day and age, like in recent like years has been so bad. And I have to just like, it's just because COVID and like it hasn't gotten back to where it was before. It's like crazy. Uh, not that it was so good before, but um, anyway, yeah, so... <laughs> That's my little Verizon story for you. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's, listen, it's an insane uh, world out there, you guys. And we have to try to keep our sanity. But in situations like I encountered this week, you it's so hard to keep your cool when like stupidity is just taking over. And you're like, this is not real life. This cannot be real life. Um, but anyway, I work for Verizon. We are not all that bad. I agree. I actually, we have AT&T now and I don't know if it's just the area that we live in, but 
the service in our area is awful and i greg's looking into maybe switching to verizon but i don't even know if that would help we live on um like it backs up to like a state park area so lots of forest lots of open space so i'm sure that is you know a reason why there's not that much service but yeah the uh internet situation that i have here to run the lives is insane greg is like an evil genius with that kind of technology stuff because we get like no service here um but anyway yeah, it's, uh, it's hard. It's hard out there, you guys. And again, you know, like I'm in sales, obviously. I'm sure a lot of you guys are in customer service in the service industry, and we're all doing the best we can, except for the woman at Zara and except for the guy at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but I know you guys are all doing the best you can because there's no other choice, right? Like we're just moving on and we got to do, got to do what you got to do, right? Um, all right, so I've wasted enough of your time with my customer service stories, but I thought um, those were really funny to, to share with you guys. Mary says, over the summer we did DoorDash on vacation. We ordered breakfast from Dunkin's and we didn't even get what we ordered. The guy started fighting with me. So rude. I know. It's honestly, it's so bad. <laughs> Amy says, I was on a chat with Delta the other day and used the word BS. The woman did not appreciate it, but what she was trying to tell me was, I know, it's so hard. Like, and Yeah. That's all I'll say about it is it's hard. It's hard being the customer service person. And it's also hard being the customer like service. Do do your job, like do this service. So it is hard. But um, anyway, it's all good. And we're here and we've lived to tell the tale. So we live to fight another day, as they say. <laughs> Have a great night, you guys. I love to hang out with you. And next week we'll do sort of like an Easter inspo live. And then we'll do part two the week after. I love to hang out with you. Love showing, it your, uh, showing you my shoe picks. If you loved everything tonight or anything tonight, please use my links to buy them on my Like to Know It shop or on the description of this video. You can always watch the replay. Share with a friend, subscribe, and follow me for more inspo and tips and uh, trends. Okay? Love you, and I will see you guys next week and probably in like five minutes on Instagram. Bye!